In this video, I will show you how to quickly and easily create a beautiful forest environment in Lumia. Also, stay until the end to know how you can download this Lumia scene for free. Let's get started. To start, I am using a SketchUp scene which I model based on a real project called the Lightbox House. I will import the scene to Lumion using the Lumion Live Scene plugin. This will allow me to make changes to the model in SketchUp and render in Lumion at the same time. Also, the Live Scene plugin is available for many other CAD softwares such as Revit, ArchiCAD, Rhino, Vectorworks, etc. Since I have a ground plane in my SketchUp model already, in Lumion, I will use the landscape tools to sculpt the terrain and push it below the site that I model in SketchUp. Next, I will set up a camera view. I have a view which I already created in SketchUp, so I will use the Live Scene plugin to sync the camera to Lumion. Then I will press this button to create a camera view. However, you can see that the focal length has been changed to default. I just need to adjust it here and update the camera view. Next, let's work on the materials of the building. Before I do that, let's change the sun position so that we can see the metal panel material easier. I will not go into too much details regarding the materials in this video because I have created a step-by-step -step tutorial video of how to use materials in Lumion, so you can watch that video if you haven't yet. As for this house, I only made changes to a few materials such as the metal panels, wood structure, concrete floor, etc. And that's our first render for the scene. Next, let's add some effects. For the scene, I will not be adding effects from scratch, but I will use the realistic style preset. Then I can start editing the effects, such as the real skies effect, to change the lighting of the scene. However, for this scene, I prefer using the sun effect. And I will disable the real skies effect. I will also reset the color correction temperature and tint. We'll just do some quick adjustments for now, because we can change it later if needed. Now let's start working on the landscape around the building. Starting with the grass material, for which I will be using the wild 3D grass material. Then I can make some adjustments as I need, such as changing the color, grass size, and length. You can see that it's starting to look better. However, this is too much grass for the landscape of this scene, and there's a better way to create 3D grass which I covered in this video. First, you just need to duplicate the grass surface in your 3D program, then apply another material on the top layer. In this case, I'll use the ground material. There we go, now we can make further adjustment to the grass material below to mix it with the ground material above. And that's more like what I was looking for. Now let's get to the fun part and start adding some vegetation. This project is located in a forest with pine trees, so I will go through Lumion's nature library and find some trees I like. I really like these pine trees here, and it's a great thing that there are many variations in the same species of this tree because we can use the mass placement tool and add all the variations to it like so. This will create a forest of the same type of trees, but varies in height and age. I really like using the mass placement tool because there are many settings that you can use to control the parameters of the 3D's assets. You can also add and remove assets and move the nodes of the mass placement anytime you like. And you can use it multiple times to quickly place more assets. After the trees are placed, you can move or delete any of them if needed. Next, I will repeat this process to add another layer of trees further away from the house. This will help create more depth in the render. For the last layer of trees, I will use the paints placement tool to add smaller pine trees in between the big ones like so. A useful tip when adding trees is you can select one of them, then click here to select all of its instances. Then you can use these tools to randomize rotation and size to make the trees more dynamic. It's starting to look really good. Before I add some more trees, I'll edit the reflection effect and add some reflection planes to this side of the house. Then turn on high quality preview. You can see that we need to add more trees behind the camera because right now the landscape looks empty in the reflection. Like before, I will use the mass placement tool to add the big trees and the paint placement tool to add the small ones. That looks good. The last thing I'll do to make the reflection look even better is increase the reflectivity of the glass material. There we go, pretty cool, huh? Now let's add some plants. For the plants, I would use the paint placement tool again and paint in a few types that I like. Since these plants are closer to the camera, I would go back and forth between the photo mode and build mode to add more plants using the cluster placement or single placement tools. There we go, the scene is now populated with plants. However, it doesn't look very good. 
This is because the color of these plants are way too bright and saturated. One way that we can use to fix it is by selecting all of the plants that need to change color and change the color hue and saturation in the properties panel. However, there's a better way to do this. First, let's move all of the plants that we want to change color onto another layer. In this case, we'll move them to layer 2. Then in the photo mode, let's add an autumn colors effect. Here, we can target layer 2 and use these sliders to make the plants less saturated. And we can shift the color a bit if needed. But more importantly, we can add a small amount of variation in the color of the plants. And here's the before and after. Even though it's very subtle, the plants now look a lot more realistic. Also, not only can the layers in Lumion enable you to use effects like the Olive Colors effect, but with larger projects, you can use the layers for each category in the scene to keep it organized and save a lot of time. As for the trees, since there are many variations of the same type of trees, we can select one type and select all of its instances, then use the properties panel to change the saturation. This will also add color variations to our trees. Our render is starting to come together very nicely, but only one thing, I personally don't like this tree here. Emotional, for trees that are closer to the camera, I suggest you use the fine detail nature assets, which are very high quality trees and plants. I will place one in this spot and delete the regular tree. Alternatively, I can use this button to replace the asset quickly. Make sure to go back and check your camera view every once in a while to see how it looks. I think this tree will work, but we just need to make it a bit smaller. And that looks good. I really like this tree, so I will add some more to the scene. However, note that whenever you add fine detail nature assets, they can slow down your model quickly. That is why mass placement tools by default are not available for fine detail nature assets. However, if your computer can handle it, you can use this trick to place multiple fine detail nature assets in your scene. One way is to select all of the objects that you want to replace, then click here to replace them with a fine detail version. After that, you can make changes such as reducing the size like so. Another way to use the mass placement tools on fine detail nature assets is if you add them to your favorites along with regular vegetation assets. Then you can click on one of the regular assets and select a mass placement tool like the paints placement for example. Then switch to a fine detail nature asset. And now you can place multiple instances with the paint tool. Alternatively, you can use the same method but with the mass placement tool as well. Just add the regular assets first, and then add the fine detail nature asset later, and then delete the regular assets, leaving only the fine detail nature asset. Again, just be careful when doing this because your scene can slow down very quickly. And there we go, our forest is finished. Now I will make some minor adjustments such as changing the sun angle a bit. You can also add the trees in a specific spot so that it creates interesting shadows like this. Finally, I will add some furniture assets in the interior. There we go, that's how you can quickly and easily create a beautiful forest scene in Lumion. If you want to download this model, then go to the link in the description box below. If you like this video, then check out this video where I show you how to create ultra realistic renders. That's all for today. Stay inspired guys and I'll see you next time.